Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'll be demonstrating what we're going to be working on for the next few weeks in class and that is Pinch Pots which is super exciting and super fun um, and I'm really excited to get started with you all on it. So here's an example of what our completed product will be at the very end of class. Um, here's the lid for it. Um, here's another student example I have. Um, but for now, we're going to learn the basics of how we're going to construct the pinch pot. Um, then we will put it in the kiln and fire, and then we're going to paint it afterwards. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So to begin, um, we want to start with a com completely clean work surface. So this is just a little bit of clay that I set on the table um, right before this video started. So otherwise, a completely clean surface. I just have an example um, of my pinch pot down here. But other than that, completely free because um, you're going to have plenty of room to work. So we're going to start with about one pound of clay, um, maybe even a little less, just depending on if we're making a lid or not. Um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to be working on the pinch pot. I'm going to have a little bit more than one pound of clay, just so that you can see everything that's going on. Um, since this clay was just made, we need to spend some time uh, wedging it before we start. Okay, so now that we have the clay formed back into a ball, it is time to start creating our pinch pot, which um, is super exciting that we are ready for that step. So, to begin, you are going to take your thumb, yes, handy dandy thumb, and you are going to stick it in the middle and push till you're about a little more than halfway through. Yeah. So, then you are going to use the rest of your fingers on the outside to pinch between um, your thumb and the rest of your hand. So you're kind of going to make this motion, but on the inside of your pinch pot. And you're going to pinch and rotate and pinch and rotate all the way around and then once you kind of have enough space in the middle you can use both of your thumbs and both of your hands to make the project go um, or make the task go even quicker um, so you're just going to pinch and rotate and we want to make sure that we're pinching um, upwards so that we can make our walls nice and tall so you can pinch upwards, but we also want to make sure that we are pinching and kind of pulling outwards so that we have um, an inside of our pinch pot so that we can place things in it. Um, you can get your whole hand in there. We're going to get lots of awesome uh, designs um, carved on the inside with that. And another really important thing is that you want to try and make all of the walls about the same thickness if you can. Um, and I usually say that you want it about a quarter of an inch thick. So um, right here on our ruler, this is about a quarter of an inch. So we're getting there. We're still a little bit thick right now. Um, so we can keep pulling the walls apart. And you want to try and make it the same thickness all the way from the bottom to the top. So when you're pinching, you don't want to just pinch up at the very top of your pinch pot. You want to start at the bottom and work your way up so that it's all the same thickness all the way around. And something else that I don't want to see is paper thin walls. If you have paper thin walls then once it dries out all of the water is gonna um, come out of your clay and it's just gonna crumble and fall apart. So you really want to try to stick to that um, quarter inch thickness all the way around and keep that shape um, as much as possible. So now I'd say we have a nice, pretty nice pinch pot. Um, you can kind of see all the insides. We have a lot of finger marks. Um, but then this clay is nice and wet, so very movable. Um, we have a pretty good shape all the way around. Looks pretty symmetrical. Um, and don't worry about all of like your little fingerprint um, marks and all of it. That is what helps keep it unique to you. Um, it keeps it special to who you are. Uh, so that concludes our demonstration of how to construct a pinch pot. Um, so we have our lovely pinch pot here that we made. 
And from this point on, we are going to use a couple different tools to carve um, different symbols in it and different things in our lives um, onto the outsides and onto the insides. But that's something you'll have to come to class to see how we're gonna do that. Thank you all for tuning in um, and watching this video, and I can't wait to see you in class this week.